<laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning. It's the day after our uh, shopping trip to Ikea. Um, I'm out here at Don Pedro. You can see it in the background. It's kind of like a Home Depot, but it's a local uh, hardware store with everything you need practically, I hope. I'm looking for some giant uh, contractor bags and uh, what else? A little noisy, um, some garbage pails or buckets. So I wanted to show it to you because they've um, extended it quite a bit. This is the entire store. Pretty close to our house and you can pretty much get everything you need in San Miguel in terms of, um, you know, building or building materials. I think the, comp the challenges come when you're trying to find items for your home, um, you know, the stores that are not as specialty in this regard. So you have to travel to um, either Queretaro or Celaya. I don't go to Celaya, but I normally take a trip to Queretaro, which is about 45 minutes away. So today we're meeting four people. I'm meeting someone who's gonna help me uh, redo a bathroom. What else? Internet, uh, another gentleman who's a maintenance guy. And I forget who the fourth person is at this point, sorry. Uh, who else is coming today? I don't know, I'm just like so sleepy, looking sleepy. I got my little two cents worth over here. <laughs> We're gonna get this day started. I'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, so the bathroom is being demoed. I'm gonna take a quick uh, video of that and I'm super excited. Okay, so I don't know why am I so happy about him bashing tiles out of the wall. Yes. My husband. Let me get this. Wow, look at that. <laughs> and started already. Mundo, gracias. Bye-bye, ugly bathroom. <laughs> adios, adios. That's right, adios, tile. Yeah, so I can't wait to see how this is gonna look. Noisy. All right, I'll be back with some more. I'm actually gonna go downstairs because the ladies are um, cleaning. Sorry, my half face. <sighs> One sec. <laughs> And here's the crew getting it in. Chica. And yeah. So that's that's what we're looking at right now. Um, it's coming along really well. We have um, a lot of stuff. I'm just trying to organize. Unfortunately, the internet. It's not gonna work with Total Play. So this is my, is this my third place that I tried? Yeah. So the other internet company said they could put in internet and they were only able to give me, I think 10 megabytes, which won't work. And then um, Total Play, which is pretty up and coming uh, company, also provides um, you know, good service but they came out, they said they could do it. I set it all up yesterday, coming back from Ikea. Um, great customer service. And I know that they've gotten good rave reviews on um, just their, you know, the speed and the cost, I guess. It's a little higher, but hey, pay for quality. Anyway, they got here and they said they couldn't do it because they don't have the post outside my house. So I'm gonna go with Telmex. I have Telmex at my home home where I live. And Telmex is actually not bad. So that's my only choice and option. It's still fiber optics. Um, I have some extenders and stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep our fingers crossed. I'm supposed to have another guy coming here at 10. Let's see if he shows up. But this guy, Ramundo, thank you so much, Christina and Jim for lending us your amazing worker. I'm so impressed right now because he is knocking out that tile upstairs. He's gonna redo the bathrooms. Um, I just couldn't live with that. I thought I could, but I just could not. No offense to whoever um, designed this space, 
but um, the rest of the space is so beautiful and the bathrooms were spacious. It's just the towels were really dated. And you know, I want you all out there in uh, guest land, guest house land, to be able to have a, an amazing bathroom, not just like the bedroom part in the house. So the bathrooms were necessary for us to update. So I'm gonna see how this goes, how quickly it goes, how much it costs, and then we'll go from there with whether or not we do all of them. So, so fingers crossed on this. Ciao. Okay, so um, I'm already tired and it's, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's noon or close to noon. There's a lot to do here, but we're making good pro progress. Um, the idea of trying to open it by Christmas was changed to January of uh, 2022. So I'm hoping that we can make some really good headway. Um, there's still a lot of uh, items to get. And then there are a lot of like hand things to do. So I was saying on, I think one of the other videos, you know, you can pretty much get whatever you want, but you just have to have time and patience to have somebody make it or create it for you. Um, I love the spirit here of the people because, you know, they're willing to work, obviously earning money, but also, you know, they're just willing to work with whatever your ideas are. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, and there's just like, as I look around and we're getting down to like more of the finer details, I just had a gentleman come through and, you know, I was kind of telling him where I needed to hang some ceiling fans and things like this. And as I'm going through, I'm like, oh yeah, and this, and oh wait, wait a minute, and this. So I got to kind of curb myself just a little bit, pull back just a tad so that I'm not going crazy over the top because um, obviously this all costs um, so you guys need to come out and support uh, Casa Elm Guest House whenever it does open. <laughs> Ask me first to stay in my space. It'll be amazing. I'm really looking forward to hosting people. That's my thing. Um, but I'm also very grateful uh, to be able to do this and also to be here and uh, create it. So be patient with this videoing i'm not editing anything i'm just blah and i'm just putting it out there because i don't really have a lot of time for anything else at the moment because i'm just like let's get this done um 2022 we're gonna rise and shine and we're gonna keep it going and i truly appreciate you guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that i know i haven't said that um in some of the previous videos but don't forget to do that please it supports me and all the efforts and endeavors about what's happening here in san miguel and especially in mexico or vice versa what's happening in mexico especially in san miguel de allende um but i just wanted to say that real quickly and i'll be back with more from today i'm sure so it's the end of uh cleaning slash demolition day well almost end of demolition day this guy is going at it so i haven't been up here for quite a few hours but i'm gonna go and see how it looks my son said you don't know you don't want to look in the bathroom you don't want to see it but i actually do want to see it so anyway i'm gonna go and check it out Let's see what it looks like i'm really excited because i really didn't like that bathroom as i've already said so let's go. Yes. Wow. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Ray, you are going at it. Wow, looks good. Yes, look. Oh my gosh, the ugly tile is almost gone. <laughs> look at that. So this was the tile. No offense to whoever did the work, but this is what is here right now this uh, ornate kind of putty yellow and it pretty much was the entire bathroom that whole wall over there and yeah he's been chipping away at it all day can't wait for it to be gone <laughs> so that's that <laughs> I'll step out I'll be back <laughs> so that's that and um, I'm so excited <laughs> I was having such a hard time, you guys don't understand. I was having a really hard time trying to figure out how can I make this look nicer. And I got these curtains 
um, like real curtains and then like I was gonna do a clear uh, shower plastic in the middle and then I was gonna do like some really nice long beautiful curtains to try to dress it up and then cover like that whole wall so you wouldn't see as much of it but I was just struggling with the countertops and there were some that were cracked and it's just it wasn't installed really well either so as I said, thank you so much to Christine and Jim for lending me this gentleman who is uh, gonna do an amazing job replacing the bathroom and doing more work in there. So I'm really excited to just kind of have this, you know, redone. Um, one of the things I wanted to say is because we're moving so quickly, I haven't had the same amount of time that I've had in the past to kind of, you know, comb Pinterest and YouTube ideas and all this stuff. I do know what I want pretty much, more or less, but I don't have like um, tiles and all this stuff picked out just yet. So we're still working through that. I'm hoping that I can figure that out in the next uh, two days or so. And I'm just gonna let him do his thing. And we're making progress. Today feels like an extra productive day. Um, I'm entering the other bathroom, which I'm not also crazy about these tiles, but I'll show them to you. They're a little bit more livable because they're white. Uh, but that will be like the next part. Well, actually, no. There's one more bathroom downstairs that has a green, I think I said this before, a green toilet and green tiles. I ain't having it, okay? So those are the two priorities. These other two, um, I can kind of work with. I think. So I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna see the other ones and I'm gonna be like, uh, I can't I can't live with it. But anyway, enough for me rambling. This is the end of day, which is the beginning of the work week, but the end of this day, the ladies did a magnificent job. Um, they're three sisters and they just did an amazing job cleaning. It looks really fantastic. It smells good and um, everything looks great. So I'm really happy, we're pleased with the progress. Um, we're going to keep taking video as we go, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao, ciao.